Natalie, I want you to know that being your husband is such an honor to me that I can love you for the rest of our lives together. And I just can't wait for the spirit to, to continue to lead us as it has and, and for, for us to continue to be faithful uh, to God together. And for us to be one, I can't even have any expectations for what that's gonna be like, but I'm just so excited to do it with you. Just really, really thankful to see the Lord's faithfulness and, and this and in our relationship and in all of the, the distance that we've been in and the distance that we've had. I'm just really, really thankful and I'm really excited. such an awesome team. I just cannot wait to be married to you. Ephesians 5 verse 21, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, and as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated his own body, but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church. For we are members of the body. Davis, you have a beautiful treasure with you. Care for her, love her, or I will kill you. Since you two entered into a dating relationship, there has been nothing but authentic love and beauty. Beauty in how both of you seek Jesus before you seek each other. Beauty in having a foundation of prayer. Beauty in the different joys you each add to the other's life. And the world is attracted to that beauty. Something that I love about Davis's character so much is that when he has an idea and when he has uh, a vision, he doesn't care how difficult it may be to execute it or what other people might think of it or uh, whether he's going to get attention for it or not. He just does it. I know that you guys are going to show your commitment to each other through your love and that's a love not based on on your own will, but a love based on the ultimate source, the, the power of Jesus living through you, you both. <laughs>